today we have to start chapter number first in science technology part one of the standard nine the first chapter is laws of motion in previous standard we studied about motion and its example vidyarthi mitro aaj apan etta navvi cha vidyan bhag 1 madil pahila prakaran गति विषयक नियम याला सुरुवात करना आहो गति आणि गतीच्या उदाहरणांच्या संदर्भात आपण मागच्या इत्तेमध्ये शिकलेलो आहोत आज आपण याला रिलेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट जी आहे तिला रिकॉल करना आहोत ती म्हणजे मोशन गति म्हणजे काय थोडक्यात आपण गतीविषयी व्याख्या जी आहे ती अभ्यासूया सो फ्रेंड व्हॉट इज मोशन मोशन इज अ रिलेटिव्ह कॉन्सेप्ट if a body or object change its position with respect to its surrounding then we say the body is in a motion if body does not change its position with respect to its surrounding then we say it is in a race position jeva ekhadi vastu tichya sabotalcha paristhiti nuru swatacha sthanamade manje jagemade badal karat aste tevha ti vastu gatiman ahe asa apan manto आणि जी वस्तु तिच्या बॅकग्राऊंड नुसार म्हणजे सभोवतालच्या परिस्थितीनुसार आपले स्थान बदलवत नाही ती वस्तु विराम अवस्थेत आहे म्हणजे ती वस्तु गतिमान नाही असं आपण म्हणत असतो लेट स्टडी अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मोशन अ मूव्हिंग फॅन इज अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मोशन द फ्लाइट ऑफ बर्ड इज अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मोशन रनिंग वॉटर इज अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मोशन बट अ स्टेबल चेअर इन अ रूम फुटबॉल on a ground before kicking is an example of rest tar mitro have tunnare pakshi phirnara pankha vaate pani hi gati chi udharana ahe tar ya ulat ground var padlela football ani vargat padleli khurchi he viram avasthetil udharana ahe yavarun aplyala ek vastu lakshat yete ki कोणत्याही वस्तूच्या निरीक्षक सापेक्ष स्थान बदलास गती असे म्हणतात जर वस्तूच्या स्थानात बदल होत नसेल तर ती वस्तू गतिमान असण्याऐवजी विराम अवस्थेत असते सो फ्रेंड इन धीस चॅप्टर वी हॅव टू स्टडी अबाउट डिस्टन्स अँड डिस्प्लेसमेंट तर मित्रो आपल्याला या प्रकरणामध्ये अंतर आणि विस्थापन या संकल्पनांचा अभ्यास करायचा आहे लेट स्टडी द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिस्टन्स अँड डिस्प्लेसमेंट Friend, observe this figure. Point A is house of Sital and Prashan. From this point A, they both go to school at C. But Prashan went directly from point A to point C. Means he went from his house to a school. But Sital went to Sangeeta's house 500 meter distance this is. and from point b with sangita she go to school at point c here the distance covered by sheetal is 500 meter plus 1200 meter is equal to 1700 meter but distance covered by prashant is from a to c that is 1300 meter if we observe this example then we conclude that the actual path followed by sheetal is of 1700 meter and the actual path followed by prashant is 1300 meter but the distance covered by prashant is a shortest distance between the initial point a and final point c but the distance covered by sheetal is from a to b and b to c from this observation it is concluded that the concept distance is the actual path followed by the body means the distance covered by sheetal is 1700 meter because c follow actual path from a to b and b to c but prashant go from a to c and a is the initial point 
C is the final point. Here it is clear that the actual path followed by body that is here by Sheetal is a distance and the shortest distance between initial point and final point that is from point A to point C is called a displacement. Now we have to study difference between distance and displacement in detail. So friend, distance is the actual path followed by body and displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final point. Next point is that distance is a scalar quantity because when we consider a distance that sign we think about only its magnitude not about its direction while displacement is vector quantity because while considering displacement both magnitude as well as direction are important the next point is that distance is always greater than or equal to displacement distance is always greater than displacement but when both are in the same direction that's time both distance and displacement are the same but displacement is always smaller than or equal to distance let's consider an x point distance is neither zero nor negative but displacement may be zero or negative for that consider and observe this figure if a object starts to move from point a it continuously goes on in a circular manner and comes again to the point A. Here the initial point is also A and the final point is also A. So the distance between initial and final point that is shortest distance is 0. So here the displacement is 0 but the actual path followed by body is as like this. So here the distance is not 0 but the displacement is 0. So friends, in this way, we distinguish between the distance and displacement. तर मित्रो, अशा पद्धतीने आपण distance and displacement मधील फरक अभ्यासला. In next session, we study about speed and velocity for getting a notification of our upcoming videos. Subscribe our channel. Thank you.